Hey guys, all right, in this video I wanna go over how to get more volume with online game leads, okay? So the three primary online sources that I use are Tinder, Bumble, and Seeking Arrangement, okay? I will go over the, the three of these pretty quickly. I'm trying to keep my videos shorter. The last few have been around 40 minutes. I know people don't have an attention span for that. And I wanna just keep pumping these out and condensing the value down and not really drag any particular subtopic of a video on too much. So absolutely essential for you to have is professional pictures. If you don't have professional pictures, don't even bother using Tinder, Bumble, and Seeking Arrangement. Okay, I say the same shit to people that are doing night game following RSD methods or following almost any other school of pickup out there, which is extremely suboptimal compared to the stuff that I'm putting out. It's not a statement of arrogance, it's objectively true. Point is, if you're not getting results from night game, get your night game strategy handled first from a top expert like myself, and then you will know exactly how to do night game and you'll be getting results. If you're, if you're just going out four or five nights a week and never getting laid or getting laid once in a while from an average chick or below average chick, you're doing it wrong. Stop pouring all this time into night game until you learn how to do it properly, okay? Watching my videos or on my product at uh, www.ultimateseductionsystem.com. Tinder and Bumble, you're not even like in the running, so to speak, against the other guys, unless you have professional pictures. Now, if you're in the US and the United States, you can use Craigslist. You can say they're looking for a photographer. Now, here's the requirements that you want. You want them to have a professional camera. You want them to have um, light, good lighting. If you're doing indoor shots, if you're doing outdoor shots, lighting is relevant. And then you want them, it's not even really optional, I would say you want them to have Photoshop experience, okay? I do have like an in-house, not like in an office or something, but I do have a girl that has 10 years experience of graphic design and she touches up photos for lots of my clients. Um, I can do that for you at a fee. Email me at epdatingcoach at gmail.com. The, the purpose of doing this is you want to make yourself as attractive and as aesthetically pleasing as possible, meaning from like the one to 10 scale, you know how we can judge a woman, okay, that's a seven, that's a 7.5, that's a nine, right? That's a five. Girls are doing that with us too. You can't convey a vibe and, and your dynamic personality with static pictures, okay? You can do it a little bit with your profile description, but you really need professional shots and then you need them enhanced with Photoshop and retouched, doing things like what? Making your teeth whiter, like evening out facial shading, removing blemishes, uh, making your eyes brighter and pop more, making the lighting more attractive, right? To accentuate certain things that are gonna be attractive to a woman. So you really need to get this done immediately if you don't have it already. For those of you that are in Europe or other parts of the world, and you can even do this from the United States, go on airbnb.com. Most of you know this as a site for booking uh, accommodations for when you're traveling, like a hotel, but cheaper. There are gigs on there for photography. I was in Lisbon, Portugal in June. I had two separate outdoor photo shoots with two separate photographers. Each one was 50 euros. Anyone can afford that. That's like a, a meal out with a chick or something. Um, goes a long way, okay? Get those photos done. Like my little brother, for instance, he was in a three-year relationship. He had never used Tinder before. They just broke up a few months ago and he put up like what he thought to be like five of his best pictures and he knows I'm a professional coach and all this stuff, but he had just like, he had downloaded Tinder and threw up some pictures and he was getting like kind of bad results and he's like a good looking dude and he's tall and I was like, put up an ad that you need a shoot, blah, blah, blah. He went and had a shoot done. Um, we took... I took all those pictures. I sent it to like four or five hot chicks. I said, pick out your top, the top four or five pictures and tell me which one is number one to serve as his main picture. Okay, this is what you guys should all be doing as well. And if you don't know any hot chicks, which a lot of you probably don't, um, that would assess these pictures for you. Again, email me epdatingcoach at gmail.com. I'll have girls review it for a small fee. They had a pretty good overlap. Like the top three pictures were all overlapped. And there was like a whole bunch of shots like you want to in the in the shoot i told him bring multiple outfits like you don't want to have the same fucking shirt on and a whole bunch of different poses and, and settings and scenarios okay 
So you're gonna wanna wear a variety of things that showcase different parts of your personality. Get a button down, get a short sleeve shirt, get something with a cool jacket, something with cool shoes, maybe one with sunglasses. Um, and the headshot usually is gonna be indoors, but it doesn't need to be, but that's where the lighting comes in. Um, the headshots a lot of times gonna be your main picture. So, um, long story short, there was a bunch of overlap, and then I, between all these girls, I figured out like the best order and what, what is the best main picture for him, and then I had the retouches done, and now he just slaughters. He's like, oh my God, this is so easy. And this is the case for most of my clients. The story almost always is, just as is with Night Game, the, the clients are like, I've studied so much RSD and I don't get results. I'm like, yeah, because they're fucking bullshitting you and they're ripping you off and misleading you. Here, now if you go through my shit, within like a day or two, you're gonna understand Night Game, like almost completely. It's that easy. It's that, it can be that simple. And then they start crushing it. Same with this. Oh, I'm not really getting many matches on Tinder. Or I'm not really getting many results online. Okay, get professional photos. And then the next process is having hot girls pick. You don't wanna have like dude experts. Like even myself, with all the experience I have in the game and, and what I know that girls are attracted to, nothing beats a hot girl telling you, honestly, this picture fucking sucks or this picture is good, right? And a lot of times it's counterintuitive. Like what, what might look like a cool picture to a dude, the chicks are like, oh no, it looks like he's trying too hard in that picture. Like he looks po uh, like it's a, too posed or it's unnatural or whatever. Or he looks like kind of like beta and you're like, wow, I didn't, I didn't even notice that. And they will, they will like confirm it. They have circuitry wired to detect value and to detect attractiveness, even from looks just like we do for them, okay? So, Get the professional photo shoot, and even if you're broke, like I said, on Airbnb.com or even on Craigslist, I think for my first photo shoot I ever did in like 2014, I paid like 100 bucks, and the dude did like tons of pictures, and then like I said, with these two shoots in Portugal, it was like 50 euros each, um, so it's not it's not going to break the bank, and then hit me up to get photo retouches and, and chicks to review your pictures and tell you what's what, okay? Now you can use those same pictures on Tinder, on Bumble, and on Seeking Arrangement. Okay, so that's it about the pictures. But that's the reason why I spent so much time discussing that is because that's really like the main focus here. The rest of the stuff just comes pretty naturally. Okay, now I'm not going to give you like my full formula for how to do the messaging on these sites. Or even there's a lot more to say about profile pictures, like which types of pictures you should get and how you should word your profile description. That's all covered in my product in Occam's Razor and the messaging stuff will be in the Leads Machine product. So I'm not gonna go into full detail about that stuff. I just know that you need to get professional pictures, have them assessed, get them retouched. So now you're competing. Like you, you ideally want your main picture to be an 8.5 or a nine out of 10 or higher, okay? And even if you're average looking, you can still get there with a pro camera, nice lighting and retouching, okay? You look at look at magazines. They can take like an average looking celebrity and make them look like a model or a supermodel with digital image processing, okay, graphic design. Okay, um, so just a quick overview on each of those sites. I'm sure you're all familiar with Tinder or you should be. This is like the main dating app. Download it, it's called Tinder, T-I-N-D-E-R. Um, you put up the pictures and now you're swiping right or left if you like the person, you swipe right. If you don't like them, you swipe left, okay? And I highly, 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 highly recommend you get at least Tinder Plus. I think it's like 20 bucks a month. It's cheaper depending on your age. Um, you have to get that. That allows you to go past the limit. If you just have regular Tinder, there's like a limited amount of swiping you can do per day. Tinder Plus allows you to do unlimited swiping. Um, you're also gonna wanna buy bundles of boosts, okay? A boost for 30 minutes, puts your profile like 10 times more visible. And so you're gonna be seen by a lot more girls. And I, I talked to a guy, I had one of my old clients, he was a programmer for Tinder. And he said, unless you're like model looks, like unless you're like really, really aesthetically attractive, like a male model, um, it's really tough to get decent, consistent matches, even with good pictures. Good pictures takes you a long way. But he said, normal guys should be doing regular boosts and regular super liking. Super like puts you at like the front of the girl's queue so you're more prominent. It's like, so I think the statistic is 
you're three times likely to match with a particular girl if you super like her. Now, my own personal strategy with super likes is don't super like the, the super stunners. Don't, don't super like the nine plus. I like to super like the girls in like the eight to nine range because they're not getting super liked as much. Like everyone's super liking the nine to 10 range. So it's, it loses its uh, utility. Um, and then as for a boost, that's 10 xing the odds that she's going to see you and you get that 30 minute thing. Okay. The other thing is be selective. Like the algorithm will penalize you if you are just right swiping on every girl. Okay. So what I've, from what I've found, the sweet spot seems to be from the stuff I've reviewed about people testing stuff, whatever swipe right on 30 to 70% of the girls you see. Don't swipe right on hundred percent and preferably not over 70% of the girls you see. Okay. So try to only swipe on the girls that, that you would fuck. Don't swipe borderline girls. Don't swipe average girls. Um, and then Bumble was created by people that used to work at Tinder. And it's relatively the same thing, except the, the user base is smaller. And what happened, it's a little bit more relationship oriented. Tinder can be more hookup oriented. Bumble, there's like more conservative girls. So take that into account when planning a date. Lots of times you're gonna have to do the date in public or it's gonna take more than one day to close. Um, and with Bumble, the girl has to message you first. So after you match a girl, you, she has 24 hours to send you the first message and then the conversation goes from there. Um, so download Tinder and Bumble. If you have one and not the other, download the other one right now or right after this video is over. And then the next thing you need to do besides the professional pictures, which are essential, is make a calendar reminder, daily calendar reminder. Put it for a time that you relatively have free. So if you eat lunch around 12, put the calendar reminder 12 o'clock, 12.30, whatever, and, and start swiping during lunch. Again, don't let it interfere with your life or take over anything or whatever. If you have a commute to work, do it then. You basically want to devote 30 to 60 minutes per day of swiping because if you are not active on Tinder, it starts, you start kind of losing um, how prominent you are and being shown to these girls. And the CEO of Tinder even said the best strategy is to use the app on a regular basis because it rewards you for using it regularly, like daily, it rewards you by showing you to more girls. So basically, like if you if you know about internet marketing and you want to run paid advertising, um, it's about it's like running a paid ad like twice a week versus seven days a week. Okay, by running it seven days a week, you get you're getting more impressions, which is basically putting it in front of more people. Same thing is true with Tinder. It's putting your profile in front of them to choose like or don't like. Uh, more often. And again, the, remember the common theme that I keep talking about is to get more leads for the week. So if you're using Tinder and Bumble 30 to 60 minutes a day collectively between the two apps, you're going to start getting some rate of return of matches per day, which is leads per day and leads per week. Okay. And then you're going to aggressively schedule them, um, preferably using my leads machine product, which gives you soup to nuts lead to meet up. And it gives you all the messaging on the site, all the Tinder, Bumble and seeking arrangement messaging. Okay. The seeking arrangement messaging is slightly different because that is a sugar daddy site. Um, in order to message back and forth with the girls on that site, you have to pay $90 a month. However, the girls are much more likely to come straight to the house. So you're saving money by not having to do public dates and 90 bucks for the month is to me like in inconsequential. Okay. It's not going to really affect things that much. It's not that big of a deal. If you were to take, um, the $20 you're spending on Tinder plus, okay. You're spending 70 more on seeking arrangement, but the, but the girls you're going to be spending less in a month or even in a year, you're going to be, you're going to be spending le less on dates because a lot of the tricks are coming straight to the house. Um, seeking arrangement, you want to gear the pictures more towards like really high status stuff without bragging. Okay. So I have my DJ picture of <laughs> Tomorrowland. I also have that on Tinder, but you want to show like you doing high class cool shit. Okay. Um, I'm not going to go into seeking arrangement too much. I have a separate product on seeking arrangement that I mentioned a few videos ago and people have been, um, emailing me about that and, and purchasing that separately. So if you are interested in that message or email me at epdatingcoach at gmail.com. Now I do have in the lead machine product, full flow charts, as I said, for seeking arrangement, Tinder and Bumble, all the message paths that you should take, what, what can happen with their objections on the, on the app messaging. And then, um, the text messaging and how to get it to a date and all the objections that can come from that. But I will throw you guys, um, a cool, uh, 
opener that's pretty direct and, and pretty quick to get the meetup that uh, I've been testing recently. And this works pretty solid. So this is your opener. So you get the match on Tinder. You say message one, and this is probably gonna get burned in a whole bunch of cities now. Like, like Alex from the Playing With Fire group and team, he told everyone, hey trouble. I'm sure a lot, he said that was his opener, hey trouble. And then it just started getting burned in like every major city just from all the pickup guys using it. Like some chicks were even saying like to Alex who originated this, oh, I, like when he was traveling and stuff, oh, I already heard this like from four other guys, you know, and it's his thing, but whatever. Um, I'm gonna put it out there anyways. You say gorgeous, that's message one, and then immediately send message two, want to go on a date, question mark. So you're basically, it's somewhat polarizing, obviously, because you're just putting her to a decision, but it works really well. Like, you'll, you'd be surprised, lots of the chicks, and I've had, I've had some other advanced guys be, t be testing this, lots of the chicks just say, sure, why not, or yes, we should do that, or like some sort of positive response, like sounds good, or what, what did you have in mind, or whatever. And so if it's any kind of positive response, I immediately just go for the number close. I say, let's plan something over WhatsApp. You, you can substitute that. Lots of people use WhatsApp in Europe. If, if people are more, like in the United States, people are more, mostly using regular SMS texting. So instead of WhatsApp, you would say, let's plan something over text. So let's pl plan something over text or WhatsApp, whichever word you want to use there. It's easier, smiley face. Okay, so it's giving them some reason to switch to the messaging platform. And, and people know that it, these messaging app conversations can go nowhere, like just endless bullshit spread across a bunch of days because not people aren't, keep, there's so many conversations happening and people are, are busy with their own lives and stuff. Um, so let's plan something over WhatsApp. It's easier, smiley face. What's your number? Question mark. So... You know, I could put screenshots here, but they're all like the same. Typically, if the girl says like, so when you, you say gorgeous, want to go on a date, and she says like, yes, yeah, sounds good, I would like that, whatever. Um, cool, let's plan something over text, over WhatsApp. It's easier, smiley face, keeps it light and fun. Um, what's your number, question mark? Now, she's gonna typically give her number there. Okay, then you save it as a contact and you move it to text. Now, this is very efficient and effective because you don't have to go through these like long, because you're gonna be having new leads coming in through Tinder and Bumble all the time. And you're gonna be having um, new leads coming in from night game and from some occasional daytime stuff when you're out and about doing stuff. So this kind of cuts out a lot of the bullshit and it also screens for girls that are just gonna waste your time anyways. Okay, so I'll, there's a whole bunch of different things they can say as the response to the opener, but I'll go into like, one case. So if they give any kind of form of, um, wow, that was quick or anything that's like kind of, it's basically like an objection, like, wow, that was quick. I'd prefer to talk here for a while more. I don't give my number out that fast. Um, but we just started, but we just messaged. I don't know anything about you yet. Anything like that. I respond with, and I don't remember the exact text, but it's, it's similar to what I'm going to say. Now I say, um, endless, endless, Tinder or endless Bumble, whatever app you're on, endless Tinder chit chat uh, can be boring, LOL, um, period. Um, I don't check this much. Um, let's see. I don't check this much and we swiped right on each other. So let's go on a date and see how the chemistry is. Smiley face. Sound good? Or I say like, do you agree? Right? So what you're doing is you're setting it up like... Like these conversations, lots of times go nowhere. She knows that. Um, you're also saying you don't check this much. So you're, you're kind of explaining like some motivation. Like if you kept it on the app, you're probably not even gonna see the message for days. And, and that ties into your first point about you're basically building an argument here in a non-serious way. If you don't see the message for days because you don't check the app much, that's gonna further uh, cause problems and time delays with trying to schedule something. And you're like pointing out the obvious, we swiped right on each other, so let's have the date and see how the chemistry is. Okay, and again, it's a screen. It's not gonna win over every single girl. If she's still being like, no, I wanna, I wanna talk here more. Usually I'll just say, what do you want to know? Which cuts straight to the point. And then they like ask you a couple questions and I'll answer them. 
and I'll be like, all right, now let's switch to text. And it, and some girls will just want to like talk for days on the app, and I usually just unmatch them. You can keep talking to them if you want, but again, it, it's like uh, having a set in the club that you know isn't going to close. You're not going to just talk to the girl for the whole night in the night game situation for hours when you know it's not going to close. If this girl's being that difficult about giving the number, be okay with, with screening them out, right? Even if she seemed cool or whatever. And you can put them to decision. You can be like, look, look like, um, I really would just prefer to, to chat more um, over coffee or over a drink. Ha, ha, ha. Like, you don't want to make it, like, confrontational. Um, and then be like, can we do that? And, and if, if they're apprehensive about giving their number out, um, my response usually is, don't worry, I'm not gonna, cause they're, cause they've, a lot of these girls have had bad experiences where the one guy like fucks up their whole <laughs> trust about giving their number out. Basically like they'll run into like one guy that is like creepily like blasting them over text, even though like the situation soured or whatever. Um, like, say, like say the girl's like, I'm not interested or whatever. And she blocks the guy and then he's texting her from other numbers or like he looks her up on social media and like, like through her phone number and then starts like stalking her and shit. A lot of girls have had experiences like this. So, so that's usually the root cause of giving their number up, not wanting to give their number out. And so I'll be like, don't worry, I'm not going to stalk you or blow up your phone with text. LOL. Or you could be like, I'm not one of the guy, one of those guys that blah, 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 ha, ha, ha. And then be like, so, ju so just send your number because I don't check this much. Cool. Okay. That's pretty much it. So to recap, Tinder, Bumble, Seeking Arrangement, those are the three big ones. Lots of pickup guys don't want to use Seeking Arrangement because they don't want to pay the $90 a month. Again, as I said, it saves in the, in the net amount you're spending. You save money in the dates because um, you're not spending money on the public dates. They're mostly coming to the house. But most of you will fuck that site up. I've had lots of guys try to go and do it on their own. I have a whole product that explains it. It's a totally different game. I probably will never put out a video on that. I have a paid product about that. But... It's the same way that you'd adapt to a stripper. It's not all the same principles, but you can't run normal game on a stripper or on a hired gun, just as you cannot run normal game on a girl like this. There's a whole bunch of considerations and a whole bunch of things you have to deal with. And I'm not gonna go into that on a video. I have a, I have a product about it. So even if you guys get on there, you're probably not gonna clean up. You're probably just gonna get frustrated. Um, so stick to Tinder and Bumble. Get the pro pictures, craigslist.com or Airbnb gigs. Uh, doing photography, make sure they have a pro camera, preferably a, a digital SLR, DL, DSLR, make sure they have a DSLR camera. And then make sure that they have professional lighting if you're gonna be doing any indoor shooting, bring changes of outfits, okay? And have them bring you to a variety of uh, settings, okay? So have them bring you around the city. Um, you can even ask them in advance, like where do you, where, what kind of scenarios do you plan on going to or whatever, right? Like, like environmental settings and then take that whole collection of pictures and run it by four or five hot girls. If you, if you don't know four or five hot girls, even like one or two hot girls usually isn't enough because you want to see where they converge and where they, where they agree. And that gives you like a good sample size to see how the female, the hot female population as a whole will like your, those pictures. Okay. Which is coming through their neurological circuitry and how they respond evolutionarily to value and to, physical um, attractiveness in a man. Then you're going to want to do the retouching again, not 100% not necessary, but again, you're giving yourself an advantage here. Just like I said in the, the night game video I made recently, saying that I'm a professional DJ gives me an advantage. It boosts my value and social proof and everything in their eyes, so of course I'm gonna do it. Of course you should be doing photo retouches to enhance your aesthetics, to, to whiten your teeth, to brighten your eyes, all these things that are gonna be more attractive to the woman. And I have a woman that can do that for you if you do not have, or you can pay someone else. If you want me to have a girl do it, um, email me, epdatingcoach at gmail.com. Um, set the calendar reminder, do your Tinder and Bumble swiping each day. It's essential to have Tinder Plus. Um, and get some boosts. You should be doing two or three boosts a week. That's gonna really, uh, bump up the amount of matches you're getting as for super likes I re highly recommend doing it with girls in like the 8 to 9 range even 7 5 to 9 range because my theory is that the girls in the 9 to 10 range and like the super super stunners they're just getting super liked all the time so it loses its utility um, that's pretty much it if you have questions 
leave them in the comments below. And if you want to go further in depth, my Occam's Razor product goes a lot further in the detail about what types of scenarios you should have pictures in, how you should structure your whole profile description. Um, and my Leads Machine product takes the lead, okay, the match, and it goes through the, the full flow chart of what you should be doing with the in-app messaging. And then it goes through the whole sequence of what you should be doing with the messaging from text to getting them to a date. And it goes through every objection and every possible scenario of where it can go wrong. Okay, if you're, I'm still doing the early bird access to that product, it's 50% off right now. epdatingcoach at gmail.com if you're interested in that. I will put my email in the video link description. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, uh, please subscribe. There's just shitloads of amazing content coming. There already is a lot of amazing content on the, on the channel, but I'm going to make this channel a lot bigger and a, a lot more valuable than it already is. Okay, thank you for watching and good luck with your online game leads. See you guys.